Oh my goodness, guys. How is everybody doing today? I hope all you guys are doing wonderful. I'm doing great. I've had two days to recover from the 10,000 subscriber special that I recorded where I made 100 models in one sitting. And my brain was like fried. It was so funny. Uh, I literally had like a Tinkercad brain hangover the next day. It was like overexertion. <laughs> but um, if you saw the title of this video, we're going to be looking at the new feature of the bundle. And the reason I brought up that uh, my special that I made is about 90 models in to recording that special. All of a sudden, things changed up here. Let's bring a couple shapes out here. Uh, I'm going to duplicate, slide over, and boop, boop, boop. There we go. We got some shapes. Um, I was building like 90 models in and all of a sudden my brain was so fried. These buttons look different up here. And I started clicking to group stuff like my mind wanted to go right here to group stuff. And I would hit this and it turned green like this green outline. And I was like, uh, what? And it sent bundle over here. My brain was so fried that I didn't try to learn what it was. I was just trying to get through these last like 10 models. So what we're going to do today is basically have a first look at what this is. I learned a little bit about it, but this is the first time I'm actually using it. Um, so let's just check it out, guys. I kind of know what it is. Um, and I want to also run an experiment to see if it's even going to be helpful to us in a certain way. So stick around to the end because we're going to do some science experiment and it could be a game changer. Mm, maybe not though. So, uh, okay, hold on. Union. So right from this screen, I can turn them into a union group. Let me try. Okay, I can. Okay, and can I turn it back to a... Oh, okay. Sorry, this is literally first look. Okay, it's still a bundle. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So bundling is basically selecting. It's it's attaching the items together without making them into a new shape. So we just have here. Let's let's do some more here that are not touching. Um, let's duplicate that. Slide it over, and we'll go like this. So see if we select all these, we have two options. We can do a union group. I'm just gonna call it grouping and bundling so bundle group union group so i'm just gonna yeah we're just gonna say bundle or group group so let's just bundle these and see they get the green outline so now they're moving and i believe they would have you know what let's take them back apart i think they keep their color too um let's change the color of a few so yeah i just ungrouped the bundle so let's just do this um, okay, let's bundle them. A boop. Yay. Um, so yeah, they are now will move as one. They will scale all together like that. Um, but we, the, we didn't have to take the time for the, the program to process the grouping of them because grouping turns them into a new object, a single object. So that's could be really nice if we're just trying to scale items and move them um just bundling them is instant which is which is i could have been using even <laughs> during that subscriber special but i i didn't want to try to learn something new in that moment um but i want to do a few tests and kind of mess with it a little bit to make sure we know what's going on so see if we ungroup it we're back to separate okay Let's do a union group and see if it changes the colors to one color. So union group will make it into one object. And yes, the colors change. Um, but you can always go back to multicolor here. Okay. Now, let's put this thing to the test because I, I need to run a test. Because if this changes a specific problem that I have, I will be one happy camper and we will go camping together, guys. Um, let's create a couple hundred thousand polygons very fast. And the best way to do that, let's hit the radius bar on this rectangle. 
Uh, wow, it's already... Oh, you know what? My mouse pad would be nice. I'm using the armchair of my recliner. Oh, I'm so professional. Okay, so look, we already have a lot of polygons here. Let's change the color. Look at all these polygons. Boing, 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 boing. That's like a couple hundred. So watch, it looks like a weird pill. Let's duplicate this, slide it over a little, and then... Okay, that's good. Now let's select them all. And let's um, duplicate, slide them over. And here, let's duplicate them again. So we're creating hundreds of... Well, yeah, we're eventually going to create a couple hundred thousand polygons to kind of max out when we start getting lag and we are no longer able to um, export, basically. Because sometimes you can't group items if they're too crazy. And we build some really crazy models on this channel, if, you're, if you've been around. And sometimes I have trouble um, exporting stuff, grouping stuff. So let's see how this bundle feature might help change that. So I'm going to duplicate, raise these up like this. Let's stack these and now let's go. Do, do, do. Oh, see, it's already getting laggy. Oh my, oh gosh. Yep. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. Oh yeah, it's getting laggy. We're breaking it. Okay, maybe we should stop here. Now, let us let me explain what I mean. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh yeah, we're laggy. Look, I'm trying to move the view and it was really laggy. Okay, so we just created a very complicated shape basically with a lot of polygons. Let's see if we could select it. Let's see what happens if we bundle it, if that changes... Um, like the lag and stuff, okay? Bundle poop. Uh oh, look! Is it bundled? It, it it literally said bundling is instant. It is not. A uh, page unresponsive. Okay, wait. <gasps> Did we just break the new feature already, guys? It's okay. It's okay. Whisper, we gotta whisper. Don't scare it. Okay, let's go ahead and do a refresh of Rudy. Did we just break the new feature? Oh my gosh. I, I don't want to exit. I'm recording. Just do a refresh. This is funny. This is science, guys. Does anybody know who Bill Nye the science guy is? He must be getting a kind of old now. Okay, let me get, let me fix this. Okay, are we, are we back? Mighty, f uh, fluffy? Full, full, fluffy. Uh-oh. Okay, let's let this load in. Okay, let's try it again, guys. If it doesn't work, let's chill, let's, let's dial back. On the polygons okay so I guarantee if we tried to actually group it it would either not work or it would take a long time but let's see it's I want it to be able to bundle here we go it looks like it's crack might be crashing again Oh, man. Come on now, bundle. Okay, so what we're going to do... Yep, look. We're, we're, we're crashing the bundle. The bundle might have a, a max... Oh, jeez. The bundle might have a max polygons or, or shapes or something. So let's go ahead and delete some of these and try it with a smaller amount. Okay, so we still have a lot of shapes here, actually. It's still even a little leggy with this many um, polygons. Why am I trying to make this perfect? Okay, so let's look at our shape here. Okay, so we still have a lot of uh, polygons here. Let's see if it can bundle this many. Otherwise, like, uh, mm, check, please. That's me leaving the Tinkercad. Just kidding, I love Tinkercad. Okay, bundle! Okay, it's it's not working, guys. 
Why is it not working? I can't bundle big... I can't bundle lots of stuff? Okay, I'm going to start completely over like a new... new. Uh, I'm going to close everything down and try again. Okay, so let's... Um, oh man, I want to try the... I got to try it again. Okay, there's some there's some unspoken limit for bundling. Anybody does anybody know if there's um look it it's literally crashing it. Um does anybody know if there is some kind of limit that I don't know about? <laughs> I'm just checking this out for the first time so I have no clue. Maybe it says limit uh you know certain amount of objects. So let's go ahead and Try a smaller amount, guys. What about this? I am not impressed. I mean, I'm sure it'll still be helpful, but look, I can't even group... I can't even bundle these. Yes. Oh, there it went! Hey, now we can at least do an experiment. Because here, here was a problem. So... If I was to just try to export these, this as a project, I would have to group it. And grouping it sometimes doesn't work. So let me see if as a bundle, I can just directly export this. Because if this was not bundled, I don't think it would let me export it because it can't be so many separate items. You get what I mean? I'll show you. Let's try it. Um, let's hit export and see if it does. It did. Okay. So let me let me do um a separate experiment then. Let me unbundle these and then try to export it. And then I'll explain myself better. Um so ungroup or unbundle. So we're back to just a big pile of shapes. Now I'm gonna hit export and see if it works. I bet it will not. Oh, it did. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder if they changed something about that. Every time I try to export something that's not grouped together, um, it usually just sits there thinking. It doesn't actually export. I usually have to group everything together, pretty much together into a couple shapes for it to actually export for me. But this time... It even exported as completely separate shapes, which is interesting. I wonder if they changed something. Um, so let's see how long this would have taken to group. The union group. So this was this is going to make it into one single shape. Let's see how long it takes. Maybe it won't even. It's 8.34 a.m. Oh, it said failed. Yep. Check it out. Failed. So, yeah. So, we aren't able to... We're not able to group these. There's just too many. Or I'd have to try again. Um, or, you know, try to do, like, the refresh trick while it's grouping. Um, but let's go ahead and ungroup these. So, we are able to bundle these if we're trying to move them around and stuff. Let's see one more time how long it takes to bundle now. Okay. Um, here we go. Okay, that wasn't bad, probably 20 seconds or something. And now these are an object that we can move around like this. So honestly, I actually like the feature. Is it some kind of game changer? No, it doesn't, but it is awesome. And I'm so happy that they, they keep doing updates and upgrades to Tinkercad, like it's being actively worked on. So it is amazing actually. So I am very happy with it. And I'll be using it a lot now that I'm, I understand it a little bit. Um, yeah, I just wanted to jump on and give kind of a first reaction to this new feature. And I think there's also a new feature added in the sketch tool. So I'll make a separate video on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. We're going to be back and we're going to be using this bundle feature whenever it seems like it'll be helpful. <laughs> so like right now, if I'm trying to move these. Hey, it's pretty good. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.